winding down to Election Day, Republicans are gaining momentum here in the Silver State. That's right. Zach Mooney has a breakdown of a new poll released just this morning. We are certainly earning our title of a battleground state. Now take a look at the results from a CNN ORC poll taken just two weeks apart with Nevada voters. Now as you can see, in mid-October, Hillary Clinton held a two-point lead over Donald Trump. But now check out the numbers released just today. Donald Trump now has a six-point lead over Hillary Clinton, 49% to 46. Meanwhile, 5% say they would vote for Gary Johnson, and 2% will vote for none of these. Meanwhile, just 1% is still undecided. And that reddening trend continues when the Senate race as well. In mid-October, Catherine Cortez Masto held a seven-point lead over Republican Joe Heck. Now Heck leads... 49 to 47%, with 3% choosing none of these and 1% pick having no opinion. Now keep in mind with this race, there's a 3% margin of error. So right now the Senate race is virtually tied. And political expert Fred Locken says the Republican momentum is likely from what he calls soft voters, the people influenced by headlines and campaign events. It will be who gets more of their vote out and who is able to you know, grab a hold of a chunk of those soft voters that aren't real strong, but leaning. Locken says we also need to look at early voting. The number of Nevadans voting early is up this year, and that turnout has favored Democrats. So here's the big question. Are we seeing higher voter turnout, or are they just all doing it earlier? Locken says for Nevada to turn red, that would need to be higher turnout. The surge that the Republicans may experience at the end would have to be significant to overcome what is a registration advantage, which means that there are currently more Democrats than Republicans showing up. Looking at just here in Washoe County, 5% of likely voters said that they would still change their minds before casting their ballot for president. Covering campaign 2016, Zach Mooney, Channel 2 News. And please stay with Channel 2 News and CBS News for continuing coverage of campaign 2016. There it is now through election night.